Good afternoon. This is Sarah Honeydew with JNS Biblical Productions. Jesus taught many lessons to his followers in addition to his well-known parables. In this series, we are going to go back in time to look at illustrations of these lessons by his actual examples and thereby see what we can learn from the actual deeds he performed and what he said about them. We call these the true stories in the life of Jesus. We return now to the last century of the Common Era. We call this one Healing on the Sabbath, the Man with the Withered Hand, from Matthew 12, 9-13. Jesus left the wheat fields on the Sabbath, where his disciples were picking and eating wheat, and went into the synagogue of the Pharisees. A man with a withered hand was there, wanting to bring charges against Jesus. The Pharisees had asked him, Does the law allow a person to heal on the Sabbath? Who? among you has a sheep that falls into a pit on Sabbath and will not take hold of it and pull it out? How much more valuable is a person than a sheep? So the law allows a person to do what is good on the Sabbath. Stretch out your hand. So he did, and it was made healthy, just like the other one. The Pharisees went out and met in order to find a way to destroy Jesus. Back in our studio of JNS Biblical Productions, we have with us in our studio Mary. Beth Violet, the biblical historian for the Church of the Open Window. How do you do? Hi. So how do you see the Pharisees' legal position? Well, the Pharisees, as you know, are no longer in this century. And they missed the whole intent. Uh, Jesus was trying to show the valuable argument of how comparing a, a person to a sheep. So then, was Jesus in violation on the Sabbath? Absolutely not. He was doing the Lord's work. He did not perform one physical act. God healed the man. He was showing that you can have, do mercy on the Sabbath day. You can be kind to people, not only through worship, but helping the sick, relieving the poor, helping those in need. So what would you say is senior in importance here in this story? It's not merely human life. It's human needs in general that proceeds over rituals. And if someone's life's in danger, then of course you're going to help that person. Does any emergency, such as a life in danger, make an exception to a ritual? Well, that is some very good points. What makes this story important to consider is that Jesus simply spoke and did not even touch the man. And the man's hand was healed. This is Sarah Honeydew for JNS Biblical Productions saying to think about this story carefully when interpreting and applying rules that prohibit work on the Sabbath. And good afternoon. What are your thoughts on today's story? We'd like to know. So leave a comment and subscribe to our channel, JNS Authentic Biblical Productions. Whether it's the Word of God through parables, true stories, illustrating parables, or true stories in the life of Jesus Christ with commentary, you can see them all by subscribing to the most comprehensive collection of videos of biblical stories for you and your family. Have a blessed day.